Okay, so I've received this parcel, you can see, which I suspect contains um, the parts I recently ordered for my 3D printer. So I'm gonna open it up. So you have the slight problem with the hot end. Very important part. It's not here. <sighs> I'm just gonna delay everything. One week later. Okay, so today the hot end and the Bowden tube arrived. So I'm gonna open them up and attach them to the 3D printer and see if they work. Okay, so I've now wired the extruder, LCD display, three CD drives, and the hot end all to the ramps board. You can see that. The the hot end works, it's currently at 185 degrees. Um you can see that's the temperature. The LCD display works well. So I bought the wrong hot end, and so I had to make this a wood adapter to go between this and that. Here is the filament. So I'm going to open it up and put it in. So I just need to basically put this on something, and then it will be able to spin. So to make this ball holder, I cut this 25 centimeter dowel into five pieces. Four, um, Four of these sized pieces and one of this small piece. So the small one fits into this like so. And then these four ones will I will join together like this and then another one here to make um the spool holder. Okay, so there's the spool holder I made. Okay, so I've now um, got everything prepared and I'm gonna see if I can extrude some plastic. Stuff is definitely coming out. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, so after the um, first test print with this, I took off um, the wood which attaches it to the CD drive and you can see where the hot end was attached to it it's burnt two, um, two holes so I'm going to need to build out something else Okay, so the plastic holder I built um, has melted, and so has uh, these spaces. So the thermistor wasn't actually inside here, which was a problem, because that meant it was recording room temperature when the heater wasn't. So the heater kept heating up and up until it probably reached around 300 degrees, and then this thing here detected that the temperature wasn't increasing killed the printer but by that point it was too late see everything you can see everything is melted okay so now i'll be cutting a replacement for this but out of metal so that it won't melt with the intense heat Okay, so now I'm going to drill the holes in the metal. So I've taped it together and glue tacked it, so it should stay in place. And I'm basically just going to drill where the holes I've already made were. That's it. And then this part 
connects to that. Okay, so that's good. Thank you.